Okay, hello, Torrens. Hello, Torres. How you doing? I hope everything's going good with you guys. All right, I'm doing your reading. We're going to see what's going on in y'all's energy. You guys, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Sit back, enjoy the reading. I hope you guys can gain some insight on something that can help you, all right? Or even uplift you guys. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on around you guys' energy. And I hope you guys have a um great memorial weekend. Okay. Horses energy. Okay, cards already falling. Oh no, that's too many. Let me just horses energy. Show me Taurus's energy, please. Show me what's going on in Taurus's energy. Something over. Show me what's going on in Taurus's energy, please. Horses energy, please. Card flip. Did it flip? Okay, there you go. The card that flip. Horses energy. Oh, there you go. That was one. Okay. All right. Oh. Ooh. 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 All these cards flip. Okay, I'm taking them. Okay, we got the moon card, cancer energy here. Um, Princess of Swords is here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. Okay, we got Water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Six of Wands, Fire, Sag, Leo, Four of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. We have the Princess of Cups. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. We have the Six of Cups here. Pis that's usually a Cancer energy. We have the Nine of Wands. Sag Leo Aries. We have the Ten of Wands. Sag Leo Aries. We have the Empress Libra. And then we have temperance, okay? That's um, Sag or Libra energy, okay? So we're going to see what's going on here. Okay, somebody's, hmm, the moon card. There's decept somebody's being deceptive. Are you seeing somebody as being deceptive, keeping secrets from you? Cancer energy. Well, this is what's going on. Somebody's doing this and you're not seeing it, your intuition. Um, you need to use your intuition. So you can see somebody just keeping secrets, somebody being deceptive, somebody deceiving you in the situation. Somebody could be depressed, okay, as well. It could be over you. They could be depressed over you at night, crying at night. Mmm. They find you very charming, powerful, strong. Um, they could be very observant over you. They could be watching you very closely. This is a Gemini energy. This person could be like very obsessed over you. Like they watch you. They keep very close tabs on you. Okay. Um. Ten of Cups is here. There could be some gossip. Maybe you're going to find out something about this person through some type of gossip. Um, this person could find you to be very aggressive. Um, so we have Ten of Cups here. This is somebody that could either have a family foundation and they're keeping it a secret. They already have a family. This person could have a whole family and you don't know about it. Or this person wants a family foundation with, with you and they're not expressing it to you. 
Yeah, they want to charge for it in a victory with you. Okay. Four of Cups. They're coming in with an offer. Yep, they're coming in with an offer. Princess of Cups is here. Mm, this person is, is very quiet. This person is very, very quiet. They sit back and they have a lot of romantic thoughts about being with you, fantasizing about you, um, fantasizing about having a, a, a success with you, moving forward with you. Okay, they could find you to be a very kind and gentle person. Um, yeah. Yeah, they fantasize about you. They think about you all the time. You stay on this person's mind. Six of Cups. They have nostalgia when it comes to you. Okay, there's somebody that sees you as their soulmate. Somebody from your past. If you believe in past life, they could have thought you, they know knew you in a past life. Or they could feel like they knew you in a past life. Um, the Nine of Wands is here. This person is going through a mental and physical struggle. Um, maybe concerning wanting to move forward with you. Or they're just going through some type of mental struggle like depression. Mental the wands is here they're burdened okay they could be married empress is here okay they could have had to release a burden or need to release a burden they could have a empress a wife or a husband and this is who you who they need to release this burden or wanting to temperance they're trying to gain some type of insight on how to release this burden Okay, or they're just in love with you. Okay, that's the burden. They're in love with you and not saying this, not telling you they want all this with you. Not, um, yeah. So this is just a thought in this person's head. They want to come in with an offer, but they don't know how. They're struggling with, you know, when, how they're going to come in with an offer. They're just thinking about it. They're sitting here thinking about it. And it's, it's taking a mental and physical toll on them. Okay, they're burdened. Okay, and they're wanting to release this burden where they want to express to you the moon card. They want to express to you what they're not expressing, what they're holding in. Okay, the secret that they're harboring. Okay, that they're in love with you. This person, yes, this is what's going on. This person is in love with you. They love everything about you. All right. And they're trying to gain some insight on how to um tell you. Okay, the four pinnacles. Yeah, they're trying to gain some insight on how to tell you that they value you. You know, they could this person, hmm, four pinnacles. Yeah, they're holding on to you. They don't want nobody else to have you. It's like this person may be selfish when it comes to you. Um, five of wands, they could see you having a lot of competition. And, um, yeah, they can see you having a lot of attention. Yeah, they may, then they're willing to fight for you. They don't want to lose you. They value you, you know. This person may be a codependent on you in some form or fashion. Or if you're with this person, maybe you're married to this person already and they're holding on to you they're not trying to let you go but they know you have a lot of other attention out there and they have to fight for your attention or they're very codependent maybe on your attention a very attention needy maybe um Taurus is energy show me Taurus is energy please oh let me see that card Okay, um, we have the devil here, Capricorn. They're very obsessed over you. This person is very, very obsessed over you. Okay, you can see this person is having some addictions, need to work on themselves. They're on working on their need to work on their addictions. Okay, um, the King of Cups is here. They, they hold a lot of, they harbor a lot of emotions for you. 
Okay, this person holds a lot of emotions for you. Um, they could be wanting affections from you. Um, this person, they may find you to be very loving, kind. Or you could see this person as such. You could see this person as having addictions, you know, and you want them to heal themselves of those addictions or you need them to um, before you move forward with them. Because you, you may find them very loving and kind. You may find this person very loving and kind. Um, they hold a lot of passion for you, this person, and they want a passionate new beginning with you. So they could come in seeking affections from you. Yeah. So it could be um, they find you very loving and kind, and that has them having a lot of passion for you. It has them wanting um, a passionate new beginning. They don't swords, but they're stuck in a cycle. All right, they're stuck in a dark cycle, I would say, where it's hard for them to get out and, and embark on this new beginning with you. They don't know how to get out of it. To a swords, they're at a crossroads right now. They're at a crossroads. Okay, Taurus's energy. Okay, Seven of Wands is here. Okay. So this person, um, they could have, um, shoot, they could be fending somebody off or you're fending them off. Maybe you're fending this person off. So they're at a crossroad. That's why they don't know how to get the passion to begin with you. You got three of swords this year. Okay. This person's heartbroken. They're, they're lonely. They're heartbroken. They're at a loss. Because you're fending them off. They're sad. Because they don't know how to um, get back in your good graces. If you cut this person off. You keep fending them off. A hermit is here. Okay, they're in isolation. Trying to figure out. Trying to get some insight. Some um, spiritual insight on how to move forward with you. Or you just don't want to be bothered with this person. You, you're, I, this could be you, hermit. Aries, Pisces, um, Aquarius energy. This could be you isolating yourself from this person because you don't want nothing to do with them. Maybe you just separated yourself from this person. Maybe they put you in a third party situation or something like that. So you just separated yourself. You isolate yourself from this person. You want nothing to do with them. You turn your back on the situation. Maybe you're going through a spiritual growth. Okay? Maybe you're using your wisdom in the situation. And your intuition told you go the other way or something of that nature. Especially if this person had you in a third party situation. Especially if they already had a, a ten of cups. Okay? Especially if if they're married. Somebody could be married. If they're not married to you, they could be married to someone else. Okay. So you're fending them off because maybe, yeah, because they could have put you in a third party situation. Or you no longer wanted to be in a third party situation because your intuition um, cause maybe you're going through a spiritual growth, a spiritual spurt where you're, you're, you're listening to the divine, you know, where, you know, there's nothing right concerning being in a third party situation. You're trying to be on a, 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 a positive growth. Mm. Yeah. So maybe that is what's going on with you here. Why? Yeah, you're fending this person off. You you don't want to be in, in a dark space. You're trying to be filled with positive light. So you had to turn your back on this situation that was concerning a third party and somebody that was married. Empress is here, but they're in love with you. They may want you to be the, their, their husband or their wife. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or, or um, this could have took you through a physical, mental struggle as well, where it caused you some burnings because this person already had a wife. And they could have put you in a depression. You could have went in depression when you found out this person was hiding a secret or being deceptive to you. They kept the secret that they already had a family foundation. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you no longer want to be in a toxic situation. You know, could be. They had you in a toxic situation. Maybe it caused arguments between you guys. <sighs> this person could be in a codependent situation where there's a lot of arguing, where it's very toxic and it has them depressed in their emotions. They could be going through some stuff in their marriage. If they're married, could be that as well. Yep. Maybe you wanted nothing to do with that situation, you know, as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe you tried to hold on after you found out this person was married or something like that. Maybe you found this, it was illuminated to you, but you still tried to hold on after you gained insight. Maybe you tried to fight for this, to, to hold on to this person, but you gave up because it was too, too much of a toxic situation. It was too much of a burden. It took you to a, to a mental struggle, physical struggle to even be dealing with this. You know? Yeah, you, you tried to hold on because you had a lot of emotions for this cancer. You know, affections. Maybe the affections that they, you were receiving was very good. Maybe it's a lot of, it's a lot of passion here. You know? And you wanted to embark on a passion new beginning, but it... it Nothing changed. Nothing changed. The cycle didn't end. Something didn't end. They didn't end something to to get a new beginning with you or something of that fact matter. It could have been that as well. Everything was halted at a crossroads. They had you at a crossroads. You know? Nothing was moving forward. So you start pinning this person off. Because it was it was too much heartache and pain. You know, dealing with this person and they were still married in a in a married situation. It was heartbreaking to you. You didn't want to be in no situation like that. You tried to hang in there. But you start listening to your spiritual side and you turned your back on the situation. You isolated yourself from this person. You start fending them off. Hmm. Okay, so that could be what went on as well. The other part of the story. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to stop right there. Okay. But, you know, continue to use your intuition in this situation where this person is um, deceiving you. You're just, they're watching you. They watch you very closely. They, they still think about you. They still fantasize about being with you. They still have romantic thoughts about you, you know, um, when they're quiet, that's what they're doing. You're on their mind, okay? They know, they, they feel like you're their true soulmate, okay? They really do. So, that's what I have for you. Like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, um, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys subscribe. I hope you guys gained some insight, heard something you wanted to hear. And you guys have a blessed um, Memorial Weekend, all right? I love you guys. Be good. I'm out.